great Kuji Changalia family. It is so good to be here standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I'm your host, Brother Tim. Of course, you know this is a heart of a simple production. And right now, we are on the Our Thing podcast. <laughs> it's our thing. So y'all going to gather around, gather around. It's hard for some production all day, every day. But we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. And that's what we're trying to do. One day, one message at a time. Our Thing Podcast is designed to give you a message based on the principle of the day and the principle of the week to keep our principles fresh in your mind. We want to inoculate you against the world of fuckery that you will roll, possibly roll into. We want to make sure that you have a firm foundation in understanding how the Nguza Saba works in your life and how it interacts within itself and how it can help move you to the best life as our ancestors speak of. Now, today we are talking about crafting cultural legacies all right actually um is embracing self-determination crafting our cultural identity um i didn't mess i messed up on that flyer a little bit but hey we're gonna work with it you're gonna work with it we're gonna we're gonna do what we got to do so let's get it embracing self-determination crafting our cultural idea identity so here we go family here we go Greetings on this day of Kuja Chagli as we stand on the crossroads of self-discovery and cultural expression. Let us embark on a journey of introspection and, and empowerment. Kuji Chagli, the principle of self-determination, calls upon us to define ourselves and call upon us to define ourselves to shape our destiny and to proudly craft our cultural destiny in a world that often seeks to labels label and define us kuchi chaglia empowers us to rise above external expectation and embrace the authentic authenticity of our individuality just as an artesian sculpts a masterpiece from raw clay we too have the power to mold our identity with purpose and intention now fam i want you to i want you to realize because a lot of you might listen to this i am going to try to go through the basic definitions as many uh, as often as i can repetition reps i'm trying to get the reps and you know how you go to the gym you got to get the reps in to get the, the the body form you got to get the reps in with the mind so i'm gonna be using these terms and defining them and constantly reminding you about that so i just want you to know that as we navigate the rich landscape of our heritage during this week of kaumba remember that the legacy we craft is a reflection of our choices it is in the moments of self-determination that we sculpt the narrative of who we are and aspire to be our actions our actions today become the stories we pass on tomorrow let's celebrate the diversity within our cultural identity let's recognize that our traditions our language and our stories are all threads that contribute to the vibrant tapestry of our heritage with every step we take towards our self-determination we honor those who came before us and paved the way for those who will follow. As we ponder the lessons of Kuji Chagria, let's toast to our uniqueness, our strength, and our unwavering commitment to craft, to craft, to craft a legacy that reflects our true selves. We want to create our legacy on purpose and not on accident. All right. I got some, I have a discussion that I'm trying to put together about because I've seen the clone Tyrone. i also seen the footage from uh, the Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama riverboat incident, the brawl in Alabama, uh, as they call it. But I want us to be clear, at least as Giami, about the stance on it because this is the issue. I like the movie, uh, they clone Tyrone. Um, I liked what I saw in Alabama, but I want us to truly understand what is happening there and what our view of it should be right not that our view is any different than anybody else but as Giami, we need to sit down and we really need to discuss that incident and actually you know what i'm saying and actually i'm surprised that there was no meeting call hmm. maybe maybe the meet ones wasn't called because hatim is not taking this kuchagalia 
as a as a child of Kuji Chagalia, I'm not taking it into my own hands and calling the meeting. Hmm. I'm slacking. That's what it is. It's not my community. And oftentimes, the things that we say that is slacking in our communities, oftentimes we need to look at ourselves because we're not exercising the very principles that we're talking about right now. Uh, as we ponder the lessons of Kuji Chagalia, let's toast to our uniqueness, our strength, and our unwavering commitment to craft the legacy that reflects our true selves. By embracing the principle of self-determination, we contribute to the ongoing narrative of our culture, one that is as dynamic as it is rooted. Here's to embracing our unique paths and crafting a cultural legacy that speaks to the essence of who we are. Uh, of course, you know what time it is now. It's the proper proper. Proverb of the day, proverb of the day. If you understand the beginning well, the end will not trouble you. If you understand the beginning well, the end will not trouble you. I got a lot of work to do on this flyer family. Uh, I didn't put the colors in so that you could see. I got so please, please, please forgive me. But, you know, I'm already recording, so I'm not going to go in and change all of this. Um, today's got a proverb. If you understand the beginning well, the end will not trouble you. Serves as a beacon of wisdom that resonates deeply with, with our theme for the week, crafting cultural legacy. Let's embark on a journey through the realm of self-determination, uncovering how understanding our beginning shapes the tapestry of our cultural identity and the legacy we leave behind. Self-determination is the cornerstone of our journey. Just as the artesian carefully gone, um, gathers her tools before crafting a masterpiece, understanding the essence of our beginning equips us to mold our destinies with purpose. Our cultural identity is an intricate masterpiece woven from the threads of our history, traditions, and aspirations. Just as the sunrise heralds the promise of a new day, understanding the dawn of our cultural heritage empowers us to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. When we, get, when we grasp the roots from which we spring, we gain the strength to steer our destiny towards our desired horizons. With self-determination as our compass, we craft our path with intention, forging a legacy that reflects the essence of who we are. Crafting cultural legacies is akin to painting a canvas that future generations will gaze upon. Understanding the hues and the shades of our beginnings allows us to infuse authenticity into our work. We honor our ancestors by weaving their wisdom into our journey, ensuring that the legacy we shape resonates with the heartbeat of our culture. As we embrace the principles of Kujichagalia, let's reflect on the beginnings that have paved the way for our present. Let's honor the struggles and triumphs that have molded our identity. By understanding our cultural roots, we stand tall, united in self-determination, ready to wield our creativity to shape the narrative of our people. Today, let's embrace our beginning with reverence, just as the sculptor sees the potential within a block of stone. Understanding our origins allows us to carve a legacy that will stand as a testament to our resilient strength and creativity. All right, family, be sure to like and share. You know what I'm saying? Share, share the good news. Share the principles, you know what I'm saying? We got to go on and help us build up. And those of you out there that say, hey, man, hey, I, I like what you're doing, Brother Hot Tim. I like what y'all doing over there, Gianni Journey. How can I support? There it go, right across the stream right there. Oh, that's the, oh, the learn how to podcast. All right, here we go. Boom, there we go. That's the, that's the problem. Become a supporter. Become one of the supporter elites at gnjmedia.support. That's gnjmedia.support. You know what I'm saying? So come on and join us. Those that want to go a little bit farther, you go to freegnjecourse.com. You get on, you get on our email list. Start checking out the email. You can start doing some in-depth studying on each of the principles because, like I said, um, this week, well, actually, we already sent out the uh, the study for um, this week. Next week, you'll be receiving the folktale of the day, and of course, the folktales line up with the power of this week so we are in the folk tale the folk tales will be the aligning with kaumba and uh, and creativity all right 
So the folk tale today is the lion in love. So with that, you'll have a discussion that's coming with that as well as a write-up uh, for you to do some further study and eventually, hopefully, start to spark some conversation. All right. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time for listening to us here at GME Journey. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow at 9 a.m. So we can celebrate Ujima. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some work on the uh, on the flyers, you know. Now, those that's like, Brother Hatim, what is the, what's up with the flyers? I see start there. The, the picture on the flyer lines up with the proverb. And the proverb for the day is if you understand the beginning, well, See, start, get it. If you understand the beginning well, the end will not trouble you. So the I try to align the uh the flyers for the show with the proverb of the day. All right. So all right, this is Brother Hot Tim. I am out. Family, know that I'm thinking about you. Know, know that I'm always thinking about how can I reach more? How can I build? better yet how can we build um how can i organize better um and like i said your questions and comments help me um in that journey all right so this is brother tim uh, of the giami journey i'm up i'm out oh yeah and also remember family listen lift up your ancestors you don't have to wait for the daily toast to toast just toast we daily toasting once a week now so now after seven years of priming, I got the pump prime. There should be at least seven times more people pouring libations. All right. So, you know, let's go on and let's 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 start. Let's start lifting up our ancestors so our ancestors could start lifting, assisting, and lifting us up. All right. This is Brother Tim. I'm out. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. family yo thank you for joining us right and i'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course come and learn about your journey see some of the stuff we do come and join the tribe the tribe up with us and check out the free e-course and we'll make sure that the url pop up right about here and it'll probably be somewhere in here Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, and let's build together.